Konnichiwa, gentle viewers. Does your semi yearn for eggs that are perfectly yellow and rectangular? This week on Cook Like a Yuki, the almost perfect semi breakfast. Here are the ingredients for dashi soup. Clean the kombu kelp with a wet paper towel, then place in a pot. Pour the water on top and allow it to sit for up to an hour. Bring the water to slowly to the boil. Then add the bonito flakes. Boil till the flakes fall to the bottom of the pot. Strain the liquid through a sieve lined with a paper towel to get clear soup. And then you have dashi soup. Stir the miso paste through a sieve that's sitting in the dashi stock. At this point, do not let the soup come to a boil. Stir the miso in thoroughly at this point to combine. Place the cubed tofu in a bowl, then pour the hot miso soup on top and garnish with the green onion slices. And now you have miso soup. To make cute sausage patties, I use an onigiri mold lined with plastic wrap. Just press your favorite ground sausage into the mold, release, and then fry. Then set aside for the rest of the meal. Here are the ingredients for tamagoyaki. Lightly beat the eggs in a bowl. Then add the soy sauce and mirin. You may want to add salt to taste. Heat the fry pan on medium heat, then oil with that fry pan with a paper towel coated with cooking oil. You may want to test the pan to make sure it's hot enough to cook. Pour a third of the egg mixture into the pan and spread out completely. Cook the egg for a minute or so. Then loosen the eggs along the sides of the pan and roll the egg as best you can toward one end of the pan. Slide the egg back toward one end, the opposite end of the pan, and oil the, the free space in the pan again. Pour the next third of the egg mixture into the pan. Lift the rolled up egg so that it can go underneath, and cook for about another minute or so. Then roll the egg again, Repeat the procedure until all the egg mixture is gone. Flip the egg out onto a plate and while it's still hot, use a paper towel to shape the egg into a rectangle. Next, you want to cut the egg into about quarter and a half inch slices.
to make it especially cute, you can also cut the ends of the egg slices to make little hearts. Next time, pork tonjiro soup suitable for bribing any semi.